A world away from the hazards of avalanches. A breezy day in a tropical paradise blows in more than some locals bargain for. The tornado just strike. September 17th, 2013. A normal day for Nassau Airport construction workers and brothers Neil and Dane Knowles. The Caribbean winds are picking up, but the airport needs maintenance done on the tarmac. It started off a very rough day with breeze and with us contemplating whether we should go to work and operate in the cranes or not. Being reluctant, we still went and we were able to get the poles up. Just as the brothers finish the job, the weather turns ominous. Upon completing the job, you know, that's when we noticed some clouds coming in and it just picked up. I saw what I thought was a water spout starting to form and then, you know, we called the guys together and we were like, oh, look at this, you know. The men spot a small funnel coming off of the nearby lake. They pull out their phones and begin filming. They've seen water spouts before and are unfazed by the funnel. Being a, an avid boater, we, we're always seeing the water spouts over the oceans and everything, and I thought that's what uh, this was going to just be. A, it was an awesome shot. I mean, it was, it was beautiful. I mean, it was if it would have stayed there. After a while, the spout loses energy and disappears, but the calm in the storm is short-lived. Soon, Neil and Dane spot another more menacing funnel on the horizon. God, look at that. There was a smaller one, which is the normal. And then it shifted quickly to, oh no, <laughs> there's another one. This one did not dissipate. This one continued and it got bigger and bigger. The second funnel was a little more intense. You can see it had an attitude with it and it, it came down to purpose. It soon dawns on the brothers that this is not just a water spout, but a full-blown tornado. The first one on the island in over two years. It's coming this way. We watched it cross the runway and started to come across to us. We were in the middle of the runway with no buildings. There was nowhere to go. <laughs> it wasn't stopping, you know. That was the moment I called from brother, like, you know, what's plan B? Do we run inside? Do we keep filming? We saw that there were planes being overturned and, and uh, the, the tornado just came straight across the, the general aviation section with the, with the small private air, airplanes. And the tornado didn't seem like it was getting any smaller. So we, uh, we decided to get out of there. As several small planes are tossed by the tornado, the men escape to safety near the terminal. But it is an event that they will never forget. I've never seen anything that size. I, mean, I, I probably won't see anything like that again. We were lucky.